If you're a content creator, you are absolutely going to want to listen up for the next couple of minutes as I do a review of Poppy AI. Now, I've only come across this in the last few weeks myself, and I've been using ChatGPT for quite some time. Uh, I create YouTube videos, or I'm about to start creating YouTube videos for my topic of water fasting, and I have a course on the back end. So I'm going to be creating YouTube videos, long videos, and short videos to sell into my course. So I had come across quite a few uh, details about how to make videos go viral. Um, I've been really researching that lately and I've been in marketing for quite some time. So I wanted to take a lot of the content that I had learnt and had written notes on and put it into um, some form of ChatGPT. So when I came across Poppy, I was freaking excited because not only can I just take notes now and drop it into ChatGPT, I can actually take the videos that I'm watching that are going viral right now on YouTube and TikTok and on Instagram. I don't use Instagram so much, but it is possible to use that in Poppy and pop that in. So unlike ChatGPT, which I was actually paying for for quite some time, um, you can't really do anything in here. It can't read YouTube videos. It can't look at TikTok videos and analyze them. It can't read anything on to do with a video. So Poppy was game changing for me because now I can come in here and actually set up what they call a board, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but I can actually take the videos that are going viral on YouTube right now and look at those formats that I want to use in YouTube for my YouTube shorts, and it can analyze that for me, can transcribe it, and it can actually write scripts for based on that format. So obviously I want to emulate uh, these formats, not actually copy them, so they're in totally different niches to me. So one particular format I really like is what's called physical metaphors. So Dr. Julie, uh, on TikTok is doing amazingly well with that. So basically she's taking just an everyday item uh, around the house and she's using it to explain more technical things to do with psychology. So I wanna do that in water fasting. So I've taken these particular videos that are doing, like this one's got 6.9 million views. That's doing pretty good. <laughs> if I got 6.9 million views on YouTube for my uh, water fasting video, I'd be pretty damn excited. So I've taken these formats. So I've got six of her videos from TikTok it's analyzed those things and because it can read them in Poppy AI, it can actually read these videos. So I've taken this, I've got the to do scripts, word for word scripts, and I've taken some notes that I've also got about this particular format that I really like. Plus I've got my Freedom Fasters course. So this is my content. And obviously there's different types of water fast and there's different ways to do water fasting, but I have my particular way of doing water fasting and I want to make videos about that way and that methodology. So I've simply, what I've done is plugged it in. So this is what happens in Poppy is you've got your chat um, AI here and you can use it between, let me just zoom in here so you can see it. So the good thing is I've never used Claude before, but it actually allows you to use Claude, ChatGPT4 or ChatGPT4 mini, and you can just go between them. And so I can see at the moment, Claude seems to be giving me really good results and, and writing it in ways, scripts in ways that I really like. But then ChatGPT4 also gives me other ways to look at um, the content as well and create different things. So you can just simply go between these and actually compare them, um, see how, how which one you like. I can write a script in ChatGPT4 or I can write a script in Claude and see which ones I like. So I'm really loving that aspect. But all I've done is connect these things and this is what happens. So I can disconnect them so you can see what happens. I just connect these things here like that and it basically is reading it. So it's drawing, this becomes the knowledge base then for the ChatGPT. So it's got my course here. So it's using all the information from that. It's using the scripts from uh, Dr. Julie's. So these are the scripts from these particular TikTok videos. And it's also reading this particular, this is interesting. It's reading this particular, uh, this is a screenshot. So it's an image. It's actually being, uh, it's able to read this particular image. And so in this format, goal videos have a particular way of being written and lesser viewed TikTok videos in this particular format have less things. So it's actually able to see the two and compare the two things. So I've actually asked it, can you read this image and create create videos that actually um, apply to the gold standard rather than the bronze standard? And that's what it's doing. So it took a little bit, obviously, to set all this up um, and um, you know, make it do everything that I want it to do, put the um, transcripts in, find the videos, put the transcripts in. But now it's set up. 100% it's saving me so much time. So I asked it yesterday if it would write me three different scripts on this active physical metaphor format 
for water fasting. I didn't give it any details about specific topics within water fasting from my course. My course is quite long and it's most of it's text. Um, it just shows ones from my course. So it actually pumped out these particular videos yesterday, literally within seconds. Uh, it wrote uh, this particular one, so it's giving a physical metaphor for a, a glass of water effect. And I'm really loving these particular metaphors. They're amazing, Like they're really going to make really good videos. So yeah, comparing a cloudy glass of water to a clear glass of water when it comes to fasting. Then it pumped out this one, which was using a rubber band about why diets fail and why fasting actually is better. And it's doing the swimming pool effect. So this is again a, a glass of water type thing. Um, and it's showing, comparing two things about water fasting and your body without water fasting. So it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this. Like now that this board is set up with this particular um, format for uh, YouTube videos and TikToks, I could do TikToks as well, but I'm focused on YouTube videos at the moment. Uh, it's ready to go. And I've done the exact same thing. So you can see here, it reads YouTube videos, TikToks and Instagram. So I can connect any of those things. I can connect any website I wanna connect as well. Uh, I can, this is the chat GPT window here that you add. You can read documents. Um, I can have Google Docs. I can have Google Sheets that have got, um, you know, lists of say keywords or something like that. Um, it can read an image, which is just amazing. and actually reads the image. And I'll show you that in a minute with a long form video that I'm doing. You can do a mind map. You can even record your own voice. Um, and it will read the information off that as well and incorporate that into whatever you want to create. So for me, I'm creating scripts. Um, I'm also create, using it to create, I can show you here, my thumbnail ideas. So I've got some ideas here about, um, you know, these are different courses I've taken about marketing and YouTube. So I'm taking the details of the, the things that I've written there um, about the thumbnail and the thumbnail checklist. And it's basically giving me ideas about how I could actually write and use and do my thumbnails. So it's giving me what visuals to use, uh, what uh, colors to use, what words to put in. Uh, and so that's amazing based on all this amazing information that I'm plugging into it as well. I'm doing the same thing for uh, where here are oh, my headlines. So I've definitely got, I've got some example headlines uh, that I've collected over the years. Uh, I've got a title effectiveness checklist that it's reading. This is an image that it's reading. So it actually started giving me some headlines. I wasn't that fussed on some of them. I thought they were a little bit over the top. I wanted them sort of impactful, but not too over the top. So I just told it that and it's actually corrected itself, which is pretty amazing. Um, but then the other thing that I'm doing, I've actually had different formats that I really like. So that was the physical metaphors um, format. So I have a board for that. You can create new boards, which I think is a terrific way of organizing everything because now I can have one specific format that just focuses on that information and that ChatGPT is just working off that particular uh, knowledge base on that format. So because I have different formats that I want to do and explore, I've got one called Common Mistakes, I've got one called Two Characters and One Light Bulb, and one called Science Exploration. So there's four different formats that I'm going to start using for creating my YouTube shorts, or again, it could be TikToks as well. So each board is set up for that. Um, I've done the same thing with these boards. I've collected uh, different uh, variations of that on TikTok. Uh, so these are all that particular format. It's given me the scripts for those formats. I've got some notes. I've got, again, my course plugged in because I want that specific information about water fasting. And I asked it, can you create me some videos on that particular format? And it did. So here they are. Literally within 30 seconds, not even 30 seconds. My God, it was like 10 seconds. Um, so now I've taken the time to set that board up. I've actually got these particular scripts. And I can just create those as videos, which is freaking amazing. So this is going to be so time saving for me because um, I really want to get into this YouTube stuff and pump out some video, like some really good content um, and lots of it. So these are for my long form videos, you know, sort of go for 10 minutes or more on YouTube. So again, I've got lots of things that I've collected over the time. I've got an image here about the breakdown between emotions that I want uh, in my scripts. And this one's really interesting. So Meredith Marsh is somebody I do follow on YouTube who actually introduced me to Poppy AI. So thank you, Meredith. Um, and I took a screenshot on her video of the structure of a long form video because I like her structure and it's very simple. So it read this particular image and it's now breaking down my long form videos into this structure because of that. And again, I've got my um, my course plugged into it as well. It's just on a text document. So I basically just, you can do a text document here. You just click on that and you just drop text into it. And that's all I did because most of my course is actually a text. So um, it's just reading. I was just like, take everything and go, 
make it into a, you know a topic of water fasting and it's pumped out a whole bunch of long videos so i've got a whole bunch of here um what is water fasting mind-blowing water fasting benefits like i'm literally pumping these out really quickly now obviously you know the limitations of any ai at the moment is that you have to be a human and go back in and fix it up and put it you know um, in a way that you want it so it doesn't write everything specifically 100 percent the way i want it but boy oh boy it's really you know is easier than starting with a blank piece of paper <laughs> or a blank google doc um trying to write stuff so um yeah it's been absolutely fantastic so yes it took a little bit of time to set all these boards up in the way that i wanted them but my god this is going to be this has been so worth it because you know for the next year two years five years however long i go for creating youtube videos about water fasting um it's going to serve me so it's been amazing i am so grateful to have found poppy ai just as i'm about to launch my youtube um because i think it's just going to be absolutely game changing about how quickly i can get content up and of course the more content you can put up on these platforms the more subscribers you're going to have and the more sales you're going to have as well so the only thing i would point out that i wasn't aware of about poppy ai is that they work under a credit system so you can get 2000 credits for the month and as you ask it questions it's using credits so that's just one thing that i didn't see on the front end and i have said that to them um when I did an onboarding call, which was really great too. That was one thing I really loved about Poppy AI. As soon as I got into it, they did an onboarding call, personal one. Um, and I sat with a guy um, on a Zoom call for you know, a good half hour or so. And I got to ask, because I'd been playing with it. So I got to ask lots of questions, how to set up my boards best um, and how to use different things. He was really, really helpful. So that was really great of Poppy because you just don't get that, that personalized service um, when you join you know, software these days. So I'm loving Poppy because I think it's they're really trying to do their best in getting Poppy really, really good. I've been on to their chat about a couple of things. They're really super helpful. Um, and yeah, I'm just loving their service and just the fact that it actually reads content, um, whatever you want to plug into it, it can read it. Uh, it can read web pages. And if you want to create a sales page, you could read a web page. You could plug in a couple of um, sales pages that you really like and just say, can you write me a sales page uh, layout um, and you know script content? Um, based on these particular sales pages that I really like and it'll give you suggestions. You just cannot do that in ChatGPT um, or Claude. So Poppy AI, 100% thumbs up. Thank you so much. I am so grateful that I found it now. Um, and yeah, if you're a content creator, I would 100% really think about joining Poppy AI because I think it's going to be just a game changer in terms of how long it takes you to create really good scripts. But not just really good scripts because you can do that in ChatGPT, but winning scripts you know things that are going viral you can you can find content on you know these platforms youtube and and TikTok that are going viral right now and actually create scripts based on that on those formats um and and the winning formula of those viral videos so 100 percent thumbs up thank you guys and i'll see you inside poppy ai hopefully <laughs> all right see you soon have a good day